Right, question 3C, another juicy one, right? And what are we going to do here? Well, let's just pause and see. We've got minus 220. We've got a negative theta. What are we going to do with that? Bless you. And 400, 360 minus. Okay, so there are quite a few things to do here. And let's run through them step by step. And again, let's get our unicorn ready to go. We've got that one in pink. That one in maroon, maybe. This one in purple that we're going to look at. And our last one in beautiful green. Okay, and of course we've got our cast diagram at the ready. X, Y. I'm going to do this one a bit more neatly and slowly. Because I suspect more going to need help on this one. And this particular part here in maroon, I think. So let's go through. Minus 220. Okay, clearly a negative angle. We're just going to add 360. So plus 360, and we're going to go, that's equal to cos negative 220 plus 360, 140. So that's cos 140, and we're going to have to reduce that in the next step. So I'm going to go equals, there's going to be a fraction, equals, I'm almost, I'm ready to carry on with that reduction. Okay, then there's a negative, so we're going to subtract. At the bottom there was a positive, so let's get that ready. Okay, now the maroon part, cos of negative theta. Now, let's stick to our strategy we've been doing and go, well, a negative angle, what do we do? Well, we just add 360. So this is the same as cos of, well, minus theta plus 360. I'm just going to write it the other way around and say, well, it's 360 minus theta. Because it doesn't matter if you go minus theta plus 360 or plus 360 minus theta. But this now looks like something we've done before. Look how similar it looks to the bottom part. Okay, then we've got cos 400. Well, 400 is bigger than 360. But we know that every 360, all our trig ratios are exactly the same. So if we just subtract 360, we're going to end up somewhere on our four quadrants here between 0 and 360. So this is just cos Let's just really make sure here, 400 minus 360 is 40. In other words, every 360 degrees, our trig ratios become the same. That's why we can add 360, so in the same way, we can just subtract 360. Okay, and cos 360 minus theta, oh, this one's ready to reduce. This is a positive angle. So we've got 360 is sitting over... Here, 360, and we're going to subtract theta, so we're going to be down here, and we're sitting at in cos, so we're going to say this is the same as cos of theta, because it's a 360 minus theta. Now, we just need to know, is this positive or negative? Well, it's cos, so it's positive, so it's going to stay positive, so we're adding a positive. Now, I didn't want to leave it as cos 360 minus theta and tempt you to kill kittens by crossing them both out. Remember, it's two terms over two terms. We can only cancel when it's one term over one term. And let's keep reducing. Cos of 140. Where is 140 sitting? Well, it's between 90 and 180. So it's sitting up in this quadrant, which means it's going to be 180 minus... So we can leave this as cos and say, well, if this outside bit is 140, then it's another 40 to get to 180. So that's cos of 40, positive or negative. Second quadrant, sine is positive, therefore cos must be negative. Okay, then we're going to subtract. So that's that subtraction. And say cos of 360 minus theta. Well, in a lot of ways, we've just done that, right? There it is there. I'm going to do it in brune and say it's exactly the same as that one. 360 minus theta. So this is cos of theta. 
it's at 360 or 180 so it stays cos and is cos positive or negative well in this quadrant it's positive so it stays positive so we're subtracting positive cos okay then cos 40 nothing to do here we could change it and type in cos 40 but let's just leave it as cos 40 because maybe something's going to come out the wash here and we're going to add cos theta that was meant to be in green okay so let's see what's happening we're going to add cos theta hmm it looks like things are really similar looks like we can cancel something but how and where there's no common factor is there let's have a look here how can we do some sort of magic so that things must be cancelling right there's, as I said no common factor that we're going okay well let's take a cos theta out or cos 40 here we've got positive with negative cos 40 positive cos 40 negative cos theta positive cos theta what happens if in the numerator we take out a negative one as our common factor in the denominator we're going to leave exactly the same cos of 40 degrees plus cos theta the only thing I'm going to say is let's put it in brackets so if we take out a negative one then negative one times what gives us cos 40 positive cos 40 and if we've taken our negative one negative times what gives us negative cos theta it's gonna to have to be a positive cos theta in other words the top and the bottom are exactly the same one's just the negative of the other and now we can see well there's stuff to be cancelled here this entire bracket is equal to let's try and get this entire bracket is equal to this entire bracket so we just equal to negative one. It's quite satisfactory, isn't it?